No, I can't play against Rainspot here. If I play around, I'll play for only Rainspot. Okay. Yeah. I think this place is safe. My name is Eric Nyohuru. This is half time, of course. Today we are lucky. We have a special guest. We are going to talk each and everything. He's one of the best strikers in Uganda Premier League we had. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos to your friends. Come on half time TV or half time dot uh, Today we have a special guest. Uh, is one of the best uh, striker we have in Uganda Premier League. Uh, where it comes up from? You live in a good place. Uh, who took you there? Um, I, I, I just found it myself. I have some friends who link me to an agent who picked up this house and then he brought me here like before the lockdown. Yeah. Is it expensive? It's quite expensive because it's a nice environment. Ah, yeah, it's a nice environment. Environment, as you have seen. Uh, how do you live during coronavirus pandemic? Um, it hasn't been easy, but I'm trying my best. By the grace of God, everything is going on fine, and I keep myself active in as well. So, I mean, I'm trying my best. Yeah. Our audience, I think, are aware of the person we are talking with. We all know you in a race sport. Tell us about your football career and the team you played for until you joined the race sport. Thank you. My, my, my football career has been amazing, starting from Ghana, from my um, juvenile side. So I joined, I joined a juvenile club in Ghana, in Manprobi. And then later on, um, I got scouts, scouted me, and they took me to Liberty Professionals. And then I moved to Dream FC. And then I have a friend who was playing Rainsport, who connected me to Rainsport. Yeah. And then I got to Rainsport. Yeah. How do you know? What is the information you know from Rainsport before joining it? I didn't really know anything much about Rainsport. I just know they are a big club in Rwanda, which have so many um, huge fans, fan base. Yeah. So, I mean, I love to impress people. Mm. So, because I, I know what I have in me. So, I'm like, okay, let me take this challenge and give it a shot. And then it happened. It worked. What are your greatest challenges you encountered since you became a footballer? Um, it was it was when I was very young, when I was trying to become the actual professional footballer, and I was alone. I mean, I had no help from nowhere, so I was trying to struggle and hustle myself by walking to training grounds and walking back home. But I mean, it's all worth it. It's 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 it's, 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 it's um, um I would say nobody was born with a slapper in his mouth. So you have to work hard for it. So, I mean, it hasn't been really uh, big challenges, but they are all been experiences. Yeah. yeah. We knew you in your sport, and a uh, few days ago, the sport dismissed you. What is your reaction after to be dismissed from your sport? Yeah, honestly, I felt so sad about it because um, I love rain sport with everything I have in me, and I was looking forward to do so many good things for rain sport with my. The playing body and then the whole everybody of my sport. So I mean it was a blow to me when I saw the news, but I mean to be a man is never gonna be easy. Life won't come soft at you, so you just have to be hard and strong inside you and then anything that happens in your way, just move on as a as a strong man. But I felt so bad, but I, I mean life still goes on so this sport is about to see the formation. Would you return if to ask you? Um, actually, we are still talking about it, but it's not certain yet, so let's see. I mean, the future is bright, so. Yeah, okay. uh, what do you see running of Paul Mouvouni and Sadat in Rio Sport? What are the two main differences? I can't say anything about that. I mean, they are, they are all good people, and I mean, there have been a lot of issues in the past, so I think we all went, want, want the best for Rio Sport. So whoever comes in and then he trying to be like a good person, we work with him as well. Yeah. Tell us some moment you will never forget for Mouvouni Paul. When I, when I came here, it was him who was in power who brought me here. And then he, since he brought me here, everything has been so amazing well here. And even to date, things are going on so amazing. So yeah. I think he's, he's a good man and Sadat is a good man as well. So, I mean, they are all good people. But just that, we just want Rainsport to be at a good place. 
So you want to be happy and you want to find stability and peace in the club. That's the important thing. Yeah. So that who was your president like uh, one season? Mm -hmm. But you can tell us the best moment. Let us forget the bad moments, but you can tell us the best moment you will never forget for Mumyakazi Sadat. Like, he's, he's actually been a good man with, to me. I mean, not to me only, yeah. to the other players in the club. And sometimes he speaks with us when, even when we lose and when we are down, trying to encourage us yeah. one way or the other, he's trying to find a way to talk to each and everyone when we are in our various houses. But you know, like as human being, you are not, you are not um, happens to be straight all the time. Sometimes you might go off your guard and do some certain stuff. But I think, you know, I'll say he's a good man. Yeah. Mr. Sopongo, uh, did you miss any chance to accomplish your mission in your sport? Yeah, it will be like the, like like we are saying how they, they they asked me to leave the club, which is what not fair to me, and I felt so sad. I actually had plans like. So many things to do with wearing sport. Yeah, I like I was saying, like as I was main um, asked to leave the club, which is was unfair to me and which I felt so sad about it. I actually have so many plans to do with wearing sport. Like I checked to you right now, but just the sake of Corona, so the league is not going on. But I still have the love in me. I have the 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 the, 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 the love from the fans in me. Like I still wanted to do more for wearing sport. Yeah. Uh, you have been in the uh, Ghanaian Premier League two seasons. Two seasons. I think there is the image you have. Uh, how do you see Ghanaian Premier League? Um, it's, 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 a, it's a it's a it's a it's a stage to give you a platform when you are angry for success. Um, I would say I, I came here. My intention was to come here for just some few months, then get back to my real form and then just move out. But I got here and then the, the team and everybody was interested in me, so I was supposed to stay. So I stayed and I, I, I continued my career here. And then since then, everything has been great. And it has given me a great platform and everybody in the world now trying to know me. And then um, like the fans too, they're trying to like make you excel when it comes to like um, social life and all kind of stuff. So I mean, playing in Rwanda is a great platform for every upcoming player in Africa. We are in the season of recruiting players. Uh, have you been in, in talk with any team? Actually, I've been in talk with a lot of, like, a couple of clubs at the moment, but nothing is confirmed yet. We are still waiting and praying that after Corona, we can just move on. Yeah. Tell us some names. I think you heard about Simba and Yanga. They are really, like, like they are close people who are talking to me now. And some other clubs in Europe too. It's, it's about Corona or it's uh, other issues you are requesting them? No, it's about... I'm, I'm still stuck here because of Corona. Yeah. yeah. But you grieve to move there after this time? Uh, it depends. I might be in Rainsport, I might also go out. So let's see. Uh, what is your advice for young footballers? Um, they have to be very educative. And you have to believe in God. Cause, um, and you have to work hard. You have to believe in themselves. I believe in myself so much because yeah. I, 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 I always see myself as a big person. And so does it come to pass, like you see yourself. So the first thing you have to do is be focused on your school. You have to take God serious because God is center of everything. When you believe in God, everything goes well for you. And you have to work hard yeah. to, to, you have to at least have a role model, someone you look up to in future. Like the Cristiano Ronaldo, like the Sapon, like the Messi, like the Neymar, and the hand, like the Jabels and stuff. And then you see, uh, I want to be like these people. So you start practicing from now, and then some few years to come, you become like them. Yeah. It's possible. Yes. I, um, I want to ask you, who is your role model? Um, Thierry Henry. Thierry. I watch him a lot. When, when I'm free, I go to YouTube, I watch his videos. Yeah. He's the reason I was supporting us now, and I like France national team too. I have a curious question. Yeah, you guess? Um, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> uh, it's rumored you happen to fall in love with Asna. Say something about it. Uh, I, I, I think it happened, but yeah. it happened before, but now. You are alone? Yeah, I'm alone now. <laughs> you are single? Yeah, I'm single now. Every guy is allowed to, to approach Sarpong. <laughs> I, I, I'm just shifting to 
to be to be a prayerful support now. Uh, okay. It doesn't move on, on other questions. When you dress to impress, how does it look like? Um, actually, it's it's, it's not easy yeah. to become a public figure. Everything is expensive on you. You have to make sure people, because there are people out there looking after, like looking at you. So when you want to go out, you need to be look smart and look like look um like classic, you know. So I try to keep my 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 standards all the time. One day I saw your picture on Instagram, dressed like a fashioner. Are you a model? Part of me is a model, like side and then. Yeah, so actually I'm combining football with fashion, with model. Yeah. yeah. What is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is jollof. Yeah. Jollof. It's, it's Ghana jollof. You know Ghana jollof. Yeah. It's time you cook it for us. <laughs> uh, what are the five best players do you take as a role model? You tell us Thierry, but you can tell us other four at the moment. So Thierry Henry, yeah. Stephen Appiah. Former Ghana Black Stars, to Jed Drogba, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Neymar. Neymar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good. We are, are a good player. Add Messi. Add Messi. <laughs> yeah. How? What's What's your comment about Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo? They are all phenomenal players who are gracing the football, yeah. football world at the moment. So we all look up to them. I wouldn't say um, Ronaldo is better than Messi. I wouldn't say Messi is good than Ronaldo. They are. We are all football players so we are all since they are ahead of us we are learning from them yeah. so I mean they are gracing the football world and making it so attractive to go to watch yeah. so they are all I mean equally phenomenal yeah. who is the challenging goalkeeper you encountered in Rwanda uh, yeah. um, I think too many like uh, five, like five keepers. No, <laughs> I don't have five keepers. Like they, I think they are more of more of five. I think too many. Too many, many. Too many, even. Yeah, too but many. but he belongs to the sport. Tell us yeah. for, from another another team. When he was at APR, yeah. he was giving me tough time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, happy now. He joined me and then, yeah. yeah. What about defender? Um, defender, it, it will be um. They, they are always in my team. I mean, yeah. I mean you, you, you yeah. Rensport, Rensport is the best team, so you have everything, everything best in Rensport. So yeah. I wouldn't see anybody challenging as in like aside the Rensport club. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Do you dream of playing for Ghana national team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very, very sure. Yeah. Hopefully soon it will happen. We just pray to God. Like, are, are, you talking, are you? Did you talk to manager? Yeah, my manager is working everything. Wish you good luck and um, the last question: What is your message to your fans and real sport fans? Um, I would say this one deep from my heart. I still love real sport fans. I love real sport as a club deeply, and then I didn't mean to part ways with them like this, but it's unfortunate this has happened. And I'm, I'm, I'm being left. I've been asked to leave the club, but I just hope one day we'll cross ways and then we'll work together again. But other than that, I wish them all the best and I thank them for their massive support and their massive endorsement since I got here. They've been so extremely good to me and I love them so much. Each and every person in Rainspo, from the kids to grandmothers, grandfathers, they are so amazing. I love them so much. God bless them so much. Thank you, Sir Pongo, for this time. So I think next time you will be available for give us another reaction. Sure, sure. Anytime I'm here for you. If you meet from Tanzania or <laughs> <laughs> Oh let's see. Maybe Europe. Yeah, yeah, maybe Europe, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Sir Pongo.